Welcome to another episode of the Memento M. Cristo channel. In this video, we will reflect on the Gospel Proclamation of the Day and how it relates to Psalm 35. Psalm 35 is a hymn of praise to God, recognizing His greatness and kindness. Along with the Gospel Proclamation, we will see how these truths can bring peace and hope to our lives. Don't miss this opportunity to delve deeper into the Word of God and strengthen your faith. Watch now our video on the Gospel Proclamation of Day with Psalm 35. Proclamation of the Gospel of Jesus Christ according to Mark, July 24, 30. At that time, Jesus left and went to the region of Tyre and Sidon. He entered a house and didn't want anyone to know where he was. But he couldn't stay hidden. A woman, who had a daughter with an unclean spirit, heard about Jesus. She went to him and fell at her feet. The woman was a pagan, born in Syrian Phoenicia. She begged Jesus to cast the demon out of her daughter. Jesus said, First let the children be satisfied, because it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. The woman replied, It is true, sir but also the little dogs, under the table, eat the crumbs that the children drop. Then Jesus said, Because of what you just said, you can go home. The devil has already left your daughter. She returned home and found her daughter lying in bed, as the demon had already left her. Words of the Holy Father When, finally, God presents the woman, the man recognizes exultantly that that creature, and that one alone, is part of him, bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh, finally there is a reflection, a reciprocity. We must restore honor to marriage and the family. The Bible says something very beautiful, the man meets the woman, they meet and man must leave something behind in order to find her fully. Therefore, the man will leave his father and mother to go to the woman. It's beautiful. This means starting to walk a new path. Man is all for woman, and woman is all for man. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me, fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me, say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul, let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have dig for my soul. Let destruction come on him at unawares, and let his net that he has hid catch himself, into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like to you, which deliver the poor from him that is too strong for him, yes, the poor and the needy from him that spoils him. False witnesses did rise up, they laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth, I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into my own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother, I bowed down heavily, as one that mourns for his mother. But in my adversity they rejoiced, and gathered themselves together, yes, the attackers gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not, they did tear me, and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers in feasts, they gnashed on me with their teeth. Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation, I will praise you among much people. Let not them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me, neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yes, they opened their mouth wide against me, and said, Aha, aha, our eye has seen it. 
This you have seen, O Lord, keep not silence, O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up yourself, and awake to my judgment, even to my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it, let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at my hurt, let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy, and be glad, that favor my righteous cause, yes, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Psalms 35 We hope you enjoyed this moment of reflection on the proclamation of the Gospel of the Day and Psalm 35. If you liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our Memento M. Cristo channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss it none of our future videos. Also, if possible, like and share this video with your family and friends. Together we will grow in faith and fellowship with God. Thanks for watching.